Welcome to the demonstration of an overview of NetSuite. In this video, we will demonstrate NetSuite dashboards, navigation, search, reporting, and workbook capabilities. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing that you'll notice as you look at the dashboard here in NetSuite is up in the upper right-hand corner, we've identified a role that we're gonna be operating in today, which is a finance role, or in this case, a controller. But we've got a number of other roles that can be configured uh, for retail businesses as well. Now, in these roles, you're going to have a variety of permissions and restrictions that are going to allow your people to uh, ensure that they're able to see everything that they need to see, but nothing that you don't want them to see in that particular role. So let's start out by looking at the dashboard here and just note, you know, one of the big challenges that retailers face is relatively high turnover rate. So a lot of people coming and going. Uh, so you need people to be able to hit the ground running, whether they're a new hire or just starting a new position within the company. So the dashboard allows you to do that easily uh, with the configura configurability of the dashboard. For example, you can move things around on your dashboard. You can add things to the dashboard. You can remove things from the dashboard so that it ends up being exactly what you need it to be for your particular role in your business. In terms of navigation, the, uh, the dashboard and NetSuite in general is set up it's like a website. So it's easy to navigate with drop down menus. You've got a home button, a favorites drop down, and you're easy, able to easily access recent records here from this drop down on the left hand side. Also, everything is very well documented in NetSuite, which again, allows people to get up to speed quickly. So for example, if I've got an invoice open here, the first thing that you'll notice is field level help. So I can click on the header of any field in any transaction here, and it's gonna give me uh, instructions on what I need to do to fill out that field. And if I need further information on this process, I can just click on the help button up here. And NetSuite's smart enough to know that in this case, I'm looking at an invoice, so it's gonna take me directly into the help center with all the documentation around creating an invoice and related uh, topics over here in the table of contents. So with that, let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard. The next thing that you'll notice that's really gonna help you out is this global search functionality that you'll see uh, front and center on the dashboard. So right up here at the top, I can type in Anything, uh, maybe I'm typing in one, two, three, four, and then I'll be able to see any transactions that have one, two, three, four in the header. Alternatively, maybe I type in the last name of a customer that we've got in the system. So there I see a number of different Adams customers from Hannah Adams, Steve Adams, and I can access those directly from the drop down on the search. So allows you to easily access anything across the system, whether you started yesterday or 10 years ago. That, let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard. The next thing I wanna show you that allows you to easily navigate within NetSuite is this subsidiary navigator over here on the right-hand side. So in NetSuite, you're able to manage multiple business entities within the same instance of NetSuite. So right now we're looking at the parent company, all the numbers that we see are for the parent, but I could just as easily toggle into one of the child entities here and all my numbers are gonna update and display real time. With that, let's go ahead and go back to the parent there. And I wanna show you uh, one other thing on the dashboard before we start drilling in, and that's the reminders portlet over here on the left-hand side, which allows you to not only make sure that things don't fall through the cracks, but allows you to execute on the business right here from your dashboard. So if I see I have 12 bills to pay, I can just go ahead and click on that um, link there. It's gonna take me into this screen where I can pay these bills directly uh, from this screen. I can sort, filter, and then I can pay those bills all at once or select bills to pay uh, from the list there. Now, another challenge that many retailers face is the inability to identify issues quickly and drill quickly into uh, to be able to view the real, the, the real root of the issue in order to make necessary adjustments. 
So NetSuite allows you to get answers with just a couple of clicks from your dashboard. For example, if I'm looking at my KPIs here in the middle of the dashboard, and I see that we've done 354,000 of profit this period, but I wanna know more about that, I can just click on that 354,000. It's gonna take me directly into an income statement that rolls up to that 354,000. And then I can drill into any of these accounts to get details on the transactions that made that up. So here we've got a number of cash sales. And again, I can continue to drill through to see the details of those transactions. So here we've got a cash sale to our customer, Joshua Mackland. I can scroll down and see the detail uh, for the items on this transaction. I can even drill into the item master record right from the transaction itself and see all the detailed information for that uh, item, including locations and quantity on hand. I can see the uh, inventory status detail there. So lots of information there with just a couple of clicks. Now, if we're to go back to the, the P&L, because of the way that the general ledger is segmented in NetSuite, it makes it easy to slice and dice on this report or any report in NetSuite simply by selecting how I want to uh, view the reports. Now, if I wanna see this by business channel, for example, I can just refresh and now I'm seeing the same $354,000, but now I'm viewing it by business channel, whether it's stores, my Amazon sales, uh, my website, or walmart.com. So as we were discussing initially, here's that omni-channel uh, functionality here where we're able to see everything on one report. Just as easily, I could select a different period uh, to view this report. Maybe I wanna see it by accounting period. So I could just hit refresh there. See the same P&L, but for last year by month and quarter. And then I can continue to drill down into these transactions. So if I see my salaries and wages number jumped up there in December, I can drill into that number and get right down to the debits and credits uh, with just a couple of clicks. So again, the ability to go from a high level view, identify issues and get detailed information about those numbers. So here we could, for example, go into the communication tab on this entry and see that we had a senior management meeting where we approved a new inventory manager position for the e-commerce business. So this lets me really understand why my salaries and wages number jumped up so quickly there. Let's take a look at the reports overview here where you can see the hundreds of reports that are configured out of the box. Let's just go ahead and look at this budget versus actuals report here to see a couple of other things that you can do with the reporting out of the box in NetSuite. Obviously, you're able to export to Excel, to Word, or to a PDF. You can also schedule reports to run on a cadence. So if I click this little calendar icon here and just tell NetSuite I want to run this report more than once, identify my distribution list here, and uh, save this out, and then NetSuite's going to go ahead and run that report for me uh, at whatever cadence I ask it to, and I never have to, uh, you know, put any more effort into running that report. With that, let's go ahead and take a look at one final way that you have to be able to analyze the business within NetSuite, and that is what we call Suite Analytics. So we're going to go into a different role here. And you can see we can access Suite Analytics right from the dashboard here, where we're gonna be able to see the workbooks that we've got set up. These are similar to workbooks in Excel where you're gonna identify the data uh, using simple criteria here. So now we've got a data set uh, that we're gonna analyze here. And we can do this, you know, we can get it complex by uh, including multi-level joins. Uh, ultimately, we're gonna be able to see pivot tables, charts and graphs, similar to what you would be able to see in Excel. So here we're seeing sales by category, and I can go ahead and uh, drill into subcategory there as well. And ultimately, I'm gonna have a report that is gonna be real-time that I can 
save so I don't have to recreate it. I can share it out to other team members and I can pull it forward to the dashboard if I want to, to ultimately be able to, again, analyze the business with a built-in BI tool right in NetSuite. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.